we bought a new camera. It's Canon 6D, it's Canon's cheapest full frame camera. And we bought it mainly for shooting time lapses and stuff like that. But today I tried to take some cool super macro images with this camera. A while ago I saw a video in which one guy told about how to collect micrometeorites. And I was like, what is this thing? And apparently if you place a box outside and fill its base with white paper and leave it there for like three days or something and then take it back inside you see there is of course there's some dust and some sand and some things that have flown in there during those three days but there is also probably some micrometeorites and there are like these tiny tiny little meteorites constantly falling into atmosphere and into ground and they come in such a huge number that it's likely that some of them are in those box. And you can find them from that box simply by swiping a magnet above the paper. It's not guaranteed that if there are some magnetic particles in your magnet, they are automatically meteorites, 100% sure, but they are likely to be. And that kind of blew my mind and I of course wanted to try it myself and I placed a box outside and did all that, got the box back and got a magnet, swiped it and tried to collect some mic micrometeorites and guess what? I got one. Here I have a little magnet and in the center of it, you can see because it's so small, there is a tiny little magnetic particle. It's like a grain of sand, but it's magnetic. So it's likely to be a meteorite. And we got the new camera, the 6D, and I tried to take some super macro images of this meteorite with this setup. Yeah, it's some real cutting edge technology here. You can see that my camera is pointing directly downward. I have taken the lens a bit further away from the camera so that the focusing point comes closer. And then with those cardboard cylinders, I try to minimize the light leaking to the sensor of the camera. And I'm using my phone as a light. And it worked out quite well. Here's the picture of the meteorite. And it kind of seems like a meteorite, doesn't it? At least I want to believe it's meteorite. And just to get the scale of things right, here is a original uncropped picture of the meteorite. And here's a pencil stip. Or a match in this picture. So it is really small. But it's nice to own a tiny little meteorite, right? 